So this week we worked on quite a few parts of geometry from angles to area to surface area and now we're going to be working on volume. Um, I need you to get a few formulas written down. So there's three formulas that you're going to need to be able to complete this activity. A rectangular prism and you can see a rectangular prism right here. It's what you would really consider normally like a box, the shape that a box would be in a, for a gift or a package that's shipped. And that is volume is equal to length times width times height. So to set up this one down here, we would quite simply just say the volume is equal to all three measurements. And it really doesn't matter which one is the length, the width, and the height because we're just multiplying them. So five times 10 times seven. And I will let you complete that on your own. After you finish multiplying it though, know that volume is always equal to the measurement cubed because we're looking at this entire space in here. What, what would fill that up? If we're doing a triangular prism, That would be this shape here, very similar to that package I showed you yesterday. A triangular prism's volume is equal to one half base times height because you're finding the volume of this shape. And so first we start off with the area of this end of it, and then we're just gonna multiply it times the length as well. So for this one, we would set this up as volume is one half, six, times eight times 12. So you'd multiply everything in the parentheses and then divide by two. And I'm gonna give you a challenge. There's only one more problem on this paper that's like it, and I'm not gonna set it up for you because I want you to try it on your own. I'm trying to find the volume of a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height. Remember pi is equal to 3.14 as an S of approximate where we've rounded. And radius is not the one that goes all the way across the circle, but the one that goes halfway across. So if you have a circle that has a line going all the way across, that's the diameter. You're looking for the radius, which is half of that. 